Oh, what a wonderful, beautiful day. All you beautiful young people receiving for the first time the Holy Eucharist. That is a joy for our parish. And so what a, a, a wonderful day. So I'm going to ask you a question. What is your favorite food? Yes, sir. Pizza. Is that everybody? <laughs> Come on, think about it. What's your favorite food? Yes, sir. Sushi. Raw fish. Good. I like it. Hmm? Burgers. Tacos. Bread. Adipas. I can't say it. Whatever it is, it's what they said. <laughs> yes. Mac and cheese. All together in the same meal. That's amazing. I, I like that. Yes. Marshmallows. Okay. <laughs> Takis. Oh, Takis. Okay. Those are like the little chip things, huh? Gotcha. Yes, sir. Burritos. I hope you didn't eat one before. No, okay, good. Yes, sir. Ramen noodles. Chocolate. Just anything chocolate, huh? That's a good blanket statement there. Great. Well, last week when um, a number of your brothers and sisters received First Communion. I talked about my favorite food, which was something my mother made, especially for me on my birthday, usually, which was called Shanghai casserole. And uh, that's a, a wonderful dish. But today I'm going to talk about probably my second favorite food, and it's really close uh, tied there. My grandmother used to bake home ba homemade bread. And I don't know if you know how homemade bread is made, but you have to put all these ingredients together, ingredients together to make the dough, and then you have to work it with your hands, which is called kneading the dough, and then you put it in an oven and you wait until it rises and bakes. Now, that is a lot of work. But I want to tell you, when we would come home from school because our grandmother was visiting with us, or sometimes in the evening right before dinner, the smell of that bread was all through the house. And sometimes she would even make it for us in the morning, and it was like waking up to heaven. It was such a beautiful smell. And it was the best tasting bread in the world. And I'll tell you why, because I don't know what all the ingredients necessarily was that she put in it, but I know one special ingredient that she put in it, and that was love. To do all that work for us so that we could have fresh baked homemade bread, that was the ingredient that made it so beautiful and special for me. Now, you guys are going to be receiving something also that is made with love. It starts out as bread, and yet we bring it to this altar, and God is going to put his love into it because he's going to change it into his body and blood for you, which is life, your spiritual life and nourishment. And that is an amazing thing. That's a miracle that is beyond our imagination. Now, I imagine most of you have seen that happen up here at the table, right? The special table, which we call an altar. But I want you to see that table up close. So y'all come on up here. Follow me up to the altar. I'll go ahead and just get all the way around it and put your hand on it. Come on around the back ways too. There you go. 
Yep, come on around here. There you go. <laughs> it is cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm hoping for some of you guys this won't be the last time you're on this side of the altar. <laughs> now, I had a wonderful priest that I knew. He was my priest when I was at St. Francis de Sales growing up, when I was about your age. And I know that he was one of the priests that gave First Communion to me when I was there. His name was Father Jacques Weber. He was a Jesuit priest. And we used to have, he would used to preach at First Communions. He would do the same thing. He'd call everybody up around the altar and he would say, today this table is your table. You know how sometimes when you have a big gathering for a meal, you have to go to a different table? And all the adults are here, yeah, a lot of yeses. And all the adults are at the big table. Well, that's like this. This is the big table. But today, you are invited to the big table. You get to receive Jesus from this table. So this table is yours. But you can't take it home because it's way too heavy. Even if you had the muscles and a bulldozer, we had to use a big crane like they use it to build big buildings to put this slab on here. So, but this table is yours now. And what does that mean? When you get to sit at the big table, you want to do that as often as you can, right? You want to come to Mass every Sunday and receive the body and blood of Jesus from this table, right? I didn't hear you. <laughs> okay. Say it loud so they can hear you out there because I'm going to talk to them in a little bit. Do you want to receive from this table? Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and have a seat again. So, parents. You heard them, and you heard me. The only thing that prevents them from coming to that table and receiving from the greatest gift God has given the world is if you don't bring them. You made a promise when you brought them to be baptized. You said, I will keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. And that's what that promise means. So... Don't shirk that duty, please. Today is their first communion. It's not supposed to be their last communion until confirmation, okay? Make sure that they come and receive at this table of the Lord. And sponsors, uh, you know, your, your baptismal sponsors, you can help in that. And you, young people, you can help at that. You know, you can tell your parents every Sunday, I need to go to Mass, and just give them that little reminder but that's what happens, a beautiful miracle. Every single time we gather and pray together, and from that table we receive the greatest gift of all, the body and blood of Jesus, our Savior, Messiah, Redeemer, rose from the dead to free us from sin and death and give us everlasting life. And by the way, I like your banners. They're very beautiful.